Made it. You've already judged this car, didn't you? Yeah, you looked at that with the big old rear wing and you thought one of two things. Either that's awesome or that's really dumb. Well, I'd like to take a second to defend the ZR1's looks because with the ZTK track package, this is a vicious animal. 755 horsepower, zero to 60 in less than three seconds, a top speed of 212 miles an hour and up to 950 pounds of downforce. And it's that last number that I wanna focus on for this episode of Cariosity because without that big wing, that wouldn't be possible. This is not a Fast and the Furious tuner car. It isn't a fart can Honda Civic that you see puttering around town with a big old appendage flapping in the wind. No, this is a functional bit of aerodynamics. I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's go to the front. There are a few things going on up here, but I'll start with this big carbon fiber front splitter and the removable end caps. That is adding a significant amount of downforce and traction to the front tires. There's also bigger air inlets. This one up here, direct front and center, is sending cool air through to the supercharger and then beyond this hood ducting over the top of the car, again, adding some downforce, reducing that front end lift. What you can't see is an integrated airfoil under this front splitter that is directing the turbulent air through the car, off to the diffuser. As we move to the side, we see that air would pass through these side inlets and then over and around these front tires. That is cooling the tires, cooling the brakes, and then shuttling the air around it. And either the air comes around it and into this channel along the side splitter, or the excess air in the engine bay is being passed through and out of these side inlets. Both those sections of air are passing along the side of the car, staying tight to the body. The curvature of the car is directing that air. And either the lower air is coming into this trap down here, and I call it a trap because there's nowhere for the air really to go. It's getting stuck in there and adding down force. Or there's another section of air that's coming up along the top of the car, going in through this duct, and then passing through to the back of the vehicle. The air that comes out through the back extends out of these vents. There's one integrated into the tail light, and then there's another down here in the lower bumper, and that's passing out through the back of the car. There's also an integrated rear diffuser, and this isn't as aggressive as some of the diffusers that you've seen on some other supercars, but it is functional. It's helping smoothen the transition between the turbulent air, the faster moving air under the car, and the slower moving air around it. And then at last, we get to the big boy. This big rear wing is not like the ones that you see on those tuner vehicles. Those wings are just bolted straight onto the body and they're really just for looks because if those cars could achieve the high speeds that they want to, well, the wing would just snap off or it would be pushed into such a compromised position that it would create drag and render it really useless. This wing, however, has these stratchins, feet, if you will, that go directly to the chassis. That adds durability so that when it is achieving a high speed where it could develop that maximum downforce above 200 miles an hour, this thing is rock solid. And even if you aren't doing 200 miles an hour, as soon as you're in the triple digit, digits, this wing is doing its job. And Chevy developed it to be this specific width, this specific depth, the shape of it, and the position of it offset off the back of the vehicle such that it develops downforce without creating additional drag. It is doing the most efficient job of managing that airflow, making it useful for the vehicle. And that, my friends, is the functional bit of aerodynamics on the ZR1 with the ZTK track package. All that to say, you may still feel like you couldn't be taken seriously driving this car around with a big rear wing. That's a fair point. And if you feel that way, Chevy will sell you a version of the ZR1 with a lower wing so you can feel confident with yourself.